This is the house of Muhammad Said. He's 74 years old. And right now, this is the space that him and the 19 members of his family share when they are awake and where they are sleeping. 19 people, my brothers and sisters, sleep here in this small, tiny hut. There are babies, young children, elderly people, teenagers, everyone is crammed together in this small, tiny space. This is not a condition that anybody should be living in. This is not a condition that any child should be living in. And this is certainly not a condition where anyone should be sleeping in. Muhammad Sayyid and his family spent five days fleeing Myanmar after their village was set ablaze. Their neighbors, their neighbor's house was torched completely and they didn't manage to escape. Their elderly neighbor, she burnt to death. And then they saw a child being shot in the neck when bullet rounds were let loose throughout the whole village. They were taunted. They were taunted. Their attackers asked them, where is your Allah? If Allah is there, why is he not saving you? Show us your Allah. Ask Allah to save you. They taunted them with these messages, trying to destroy their Iman, trying to destroy their faith. They held on to their faith, my brothers and sisters. They did not let go of their faith. And part of their faith is that they are part of an Ummah, the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The same Ummah that you are part of. Part of their faith is that you are their brother, that you are their sister. Part of their faith tells them that you will support them, that you will provide for them, that you will take care of them. Don't let them lose their faith, my brothers and sisters. Alhamdulillah, this family is very fortunate. They've been in Bangladesh for three days now and they've been provided with this shelter as soon as possible. They've got food here as well, but this will only last a certain amount of time. It's going to run out and we need to continue to, to support them. The children are sick. Our uncle Muhammad, he has a heart condition. None of them have seen a clinic yet. None of them have seen a doctor yet. They haven't received any medication. Inshallah, we'll be able to provide them with everything that they need. As long as you're able to support us. As long as you're able to donate. So my brothers and sisters, I urge you. Don't let them lose their faith. Call 0121-446-5682 or visit islamichelp.org.uk to donate now. Assalamu alaikum.